last class we had started off with what is capital market and we have discussed with uh, the classifications primary and secondary we studied about what is the primary market what are the uh, different features of primary market and also what are the kinds of instruments traded in or issued in the primary market so today i'll be discussing with the second classification of capital market called as secondary market it is the market where existing securities are traded and is referred to as secondary or stock market so in case you have a two marker question what is the meaning of stock market right you do not have to wonder secondary market is otherwise called as what stock market or stock exchange okay so what is this market all about it is a market where you trade existing securities the securities that they hold can be sold in various stock exchanges so wherever the companies are listed so with at your choice and at your convenience you can start trading the securities the secondary market acts as a medium of determining the pricing of assets in a transaction consistent with the demand and supply now we have seen this uh, 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 on the tv where they read the stock exchange opening and the closing prices you remember now there every moment every second the prices keep fluctuating they rise and they fall right both they increase as well as decrease with respect to the demand and supply in the market right any kind of news now let's say there's a pres uh, presidential election or there's a uh, our indian uh, economy's budget coming up in the next month or in the few weeks right it can be any kind of national news of such or uh, any kind of company that is internal news right company amalgamating or company uh, liquidating or company merging with another company there can be so many other newses or rumors can impact the securities on the stock exchange and make their demand and supply vary okay vary means change every now and then okay so that's why the prices are high and low very constantly they keep changing it is only up to the professional or person who can study those price uh, uh, you know uh, changes or price increases or decreases when is the right time to purchase a security and when is the right time to sell a particular security in order to avail some profit or income okay the purpose of you investing in the security is to have some profit or have some income correct so you need to be a thorough expert or if you only have money but you do not have the knowledge or the uh, professional decision making as to when to buy when to sell you can just appoint a broker now broker is a person who is uh, registered under the sebi act right securities board of exchange right he has a registered broker and he has the authority or he has the permission or the license to trade on stock exchange so if you say 2% or 5% is the percentage of income that i am looking for then accordingly he will start putting your investment money into various securities and making sure you earn that amount of return provided you pay him a, a percentage of commission charges is that clear so that's about the secondary market so examples are national stock exchange and bombay stock exchange let's study the functions of stock exchange or secondary market as i told it these two words are very interchangeable guys so don't get confused stock exchange stock market secondary market all these three words are very interchangeably used in the syllabus so do not get confused all the three means the same the first function is liquidity and marketability of securities what is liquidity breaking down that sentence is easily convertible into cash without much difficulty i'll repeat what is liquidity it is easily convertible into cash without much difficulty what is marketability that means you are able to quickly sell or purchase a particular security is that clear so since they can be converted into cash at any time according to the investor's choice by selling or purchasing them they facilitate 
selling of securities at the listed price by providing continuous marketability in securities they hold or they intend to hold. So this stock market or secondary market provides liquidity as well as the marketability for all the securities that have been listed on the stock exchange. So it gives you absolute freedom as an investor. It is at your choice which company shares you want to purchase or which company securities you want to sell. At your choice, at your convenience, you can sell and purchase. So that will amount you to liquidity. Easily you can, if there's an emergency, easily you can sell it off and make money. Marketability means what? Able to facilitate selling of security. You are able to sell that particular security in the market. That's called as marketability. Understood? So that's the very first function that stock market will enable you to do. Second, surrender of funds. Stock exchange ensures safety of funds invested because they have to function under strict rules and regulations and the bylaws. Over trading and speculations are prevented through carefully designed set of rules. Now, surrender of funds. So sometimes there can be, uh, you know, lot of uh, fraudulent activities. Now, why is SEBI instituted? Remember, we studied the third chapter, regulatory institutions. RBI and SEBI. RBI was a head or apex institution for all the banks in India. What is SEBI do doing? SEBI is the apex institution for all the stock exchanges in India. It is like a watchdog making sure there's no there's no fraudulent activities, there is no uh, you know um, unlawful intentions uh, why they have created or investors are not being fooled or investors are not investors money is not being uh, you know duped into some loss making company etc so this is why we are talking about ensuring safety of funds right because it is so easy uh, today that uh, uh, I'm sure you have heard a lot of news about these fake uh, websites or fake companies with just a click away right people use these websites because today how can you easily cheat people is through online mode yes or no online mode because for every payment you have to provide your credential details right a credit card uh, number or a pin number etc now if it was not a genuine website or a genuine uh, business dealing if it's a fake one your entire account details they can track and just withdraw the money away or transfer it to their respective account right every day we see such news is happening around us right it can be a just free meal offer or buy one get three free offer like that people so easily get attracted towards such advertisements or dealings so that they share their bank account details when they're dealing with and then they lose their entire money so that is why here SEBI ensures the safety of funds invested because SEBI makes sure before a company becomes a public company. That means if your company is X private limited company and it wants to have an IPO, that means it becomes X public limited company. Okay. From X private limited, it transforms into what? X public limited. That means you're borrowing funds from the public. That's why it's called as what? Public limited company. So, in order for you to turn that way or borrow, you need to satisfy a lot of rules and regulations and permissions from the SEBI. So, SEBI lays down strict rules and regulations. And what is bylaws? Remember, bylaws are certain uh, standards or certain rules set up by the company for the company itself. I repeat, what are bylaws? Bylaws are certain conditions or rule. Who, who sets it up? The company. For whom, is this, for whom is it set up? For the company itself. So basically, if, if I'm an X limited public, uh, X public limited company, I set up certain rules and conditions and standards for my company to follow because I want my company to be a standardized company, right? An ethical company. So that's why there are a lot of institutions or stock exchanges that set up bylaws. 
Of course, who gives the uh, permission to set up bylaws? It's again SEBI. Got it? So, over trading or speculation are prevented through carefully designed set of rules. So, SEBI makes sure no such speculations or rumors are spread, and that is going to affect deeply the changing or securities prices on the stock market. Number three, supply of long term funds. The securities traded in stock markets are negotiable and transferable in character with minimum formalities. So, when a security is transacted on investor, it's substituted by another, but the company is assured of long term availability of funds. Now, here you remember it's not just one person. Stock market deals with millions and millions of investors. There are so many investors, like one investor may purchase 100 shares, right? Or one investor may purchase 50 shares. So like that, there's so many uh, investors purchasing or investing in these securities under stock market. So how does this help the companies? It provides the company long-term funds, okay? The investors, by purchasing securities, how is it helping the companies? It provides long-term funds for the companies. Now, every uh, balance sheet that you write, okay, you're going to start off with the share capital under liabilities, correct? So, you're going to start with equity share capital or under borrowings, you write it as debenture, correct? So, what is this? You are basically borrowing from the public, from the investors. So, investors all put together, they are contributing towards the capital or long-term funds of the company without which the company cannot exist or the company cannot effectively function. Is that clear? So, secondary market, what does it provide? It provides long-term funds. Number four, flow of funds to profitable projects. The profitability and popularity of companies are reflected in stock prices, definitely. Now, uh, company reliance. We have observed that during this entire lockdown or this pandemic that we have uh, undergone, we have seen so many companies uh, facing pro uh, losses, so many companies having layoff. That means that, uh, you know, people are losing jobs or people are having pay cuts. But Reliance and few, very few like uh, like companies, Net Netflix or these online platform or web series, etc. These companies started improving their business only during this lockdown period. Have you observed that? Yes, some companies have faced loss. Some companies have had paid cuts. Some companies have had layoffs. But there are few companies who have increased in subscription increased in number of viewers, increased in number of watchers, etc. So, if some situation works uh, negatively for a few companies, the same situation can work positively for some other companies like Swiggy, Zomato or all other companies really increase their business line. Why? Because nobody was ready to step out and everybody would wanted to uh, get certain groceries or shopping, etc at their comfortable zone. So we need delivery people, yes or no? So certain companies started gaining more and more of profits or business in certain situation. So how does this impact stock market? This profitability and popularity will definitely reflect in stock prices. We have seen Reliance company shares, even though other company shares were dropping down, certain company shares were increasing. I repeat, certain companies' shares were increasing. Who are those companies? Those companies who were positively affected by the pandemic. Okay? Positively affected by the pandemic. Those definitely, those uh, when they report quarterly profits or they when they report annual profits, that was really surprising and that will definitely impact the demand of the shares of so company. If I say Reliance uh, is uh, reported profits, while every other company is reporting loss, this company is providing profits. So, automatically, P 
people would love to invest more and more into the company of Reliance. So automatically the demand for company Reliance shares will increase and people and basically it's going to start reflecting in the stock market. So funds tend to be attracted towards securities of profitable companies into profitable channels. So when I know certain companies are making use of even this pandemic situation or certain crisis situation into a profitable venture, right, into a profitable avenue, then automatically the funds or the securities that you raise or collect through the stock exchange or secondary market will go into where? Profitable channels, otherwise called as profitable projects. Is that clear? So that is another fourth a function or a feature of secondary market. Is that clear to all of you? So today we have discussed with what is a secondary market? What are the functions of secondary market? Number one, liquidity and marketability of securities, surrender of funds, supply of long-term funds and the fourth one, flow of funds to profitable channels or projects.